In this problem, we're given a table, and we have to find the regression equation. So the first thing you do is you click this little box here, and you click Open in StackCrunch. When you do that, all of the data gets uh, typed into StackCrunch for you, so it's really nice. Then you just go to Stat, Regression, Simple Linear. And you just always pick the first thing and pick the second thing. Then just click Compute. And there's the answer. So it wants one decimal. So the answer is right here. Okay, so weight is the y value. Wow, so negative 185.4, negative 185.4. And then looks like the coefficient of the x is 44.9. 44.9. You see, uh, x is the overhead width. That's our x. And then the y value is the weight. Okay, let's try it. Well done. The best predicted weight for an overhead width of 1.6 is, okay, so it's asking us to predict the y value when x is 1.6, okay? So before we do that, we have to check to see if the correlation is significant. What does that mean? That means that the r is bigger than the critical value. So if r is bigger than the number in this table, we have a straight line pattern, and then we use the pattern, we use the line to make our prediction. If r is not bigger, then we don't have a straight line pattern, and the answer would be the mean of the weights. So let's check. Our n is 6, that's our sample size. Our alpha is 0.05, so let's click the table. There it is, so 0.811. n is 6 and alpha 0.05, they meet at the number 0.811. That's called the critical value. So our correlation coefficient, which is r, is bigger than the critical value. That means r is significant. That means that the data follows a straight line pattern. So in other words, to make a prediction, we have to use the line. So all you do now is you click here where it says options, and you go to edit. Then you scroll down right here, x value, and then just type in the 1.6. Click compute, to leave the level alone. What the level does is, I believe this creates a um, confidence interval for our prediction, which we're not necessarily doing. And then you scroll down, and there it is, right there, pred y. It wants one decimal, negative 113.6. Negative 113.6. Fantastic. It says, can the prediction be correct? What is wrong with the predicting weight in this case? Well, it's a negative weight, and I think that happened because the 1.6 is really far away from these other numbers, right? So... Um, I'm going to say the prediction cannot be correct, so it's one of these one of these three, because a negative weight does not make sense. Okay, so far so good. The width in this case is beyond the scope of available sample data. Yes, that that seems to be the correct choice. Let's go with it. That's it.